Hello, welcome to the brand new Mini Countryman. Now before we go and take a look around some of the details of this car, do please use the link in the top of the screen to go and check out all of Rybrook Mini's latest offers. Well, we have a number of things that are new. We've got a new grille, we've got some new lights, we've got a new bumper here, and this color is new. It's called Sage Green. Not really sure where they got the green element of it from, but I think it looks awesome. Another thing that's new are the rear lights. They're LED as standard now, and they're in the shape of the Union Jack to keep this car in line with the rest of Mini's lineup. What do you think of those? Let us know in the comments below. Something else really cool, which I really like, not exactly a new feature for the Countryman, but hey, are the gloss black elements. So we've got gloss black door handles, we've got gloss black light surrounds, and well, I just think it gives the car a real nice feel to it. Now then, the interior of the new Countryman. You know, it's very, very similar to what came before. However, they've now kind of updated it, refreshed it, made it feel in line with the rest of the range. So firstly, we've got the new digital display in front of me. And it's so clear, so modern and so crisp. That's really cool. That's come from the GP and the Mini Electric. Really cool. And then the infotainment screen in the center here is really flush with the rest. I think it feels like Mini have just really updated this and everything now just has an extra quality feel to it. I think it's awesome, but the big thing for me is how familiar it feels. It's almost like they've taken the familiarity of the previous shape and just enhanced it, made it better in some way. More crisp, more modern, more, more everything really. I think it's really cool and this has got a few little packs on it. So we've got the navigation pack which gives you the obviously navigation, you get Apple CarPlay as well. We've also got a comfort pack, which gives you the armrest, your heated seats. But yeah, you know what? Lovely, lovely place to be. As before, the new Countryman is available in three different trim levels. We have this, which is the classic. You can also get an exclusive and a sport, all with varying different levels of specification. The sport, being the sportiest with the John Cooper Works body styling. And speaking of John Cooper Works, there will be a John Cooper Works version of this car coming out very, very soon. And well, before that, if you wanna see my review on the previous generation Countryman John Cooper Works, please use the link in the top of the screen to go and check that one out. Yes, is the answer to that. It's very easy to drive. It's got pedals, it's got a steering wheel, it's got indicators, it's got windows for you to see out of. Yeah, it's really easy to drive. This one's only got two pedals as well because it's got an automatic gearbox, which is brilliant. The, the gearbox in this car is silky smooth. It's very responsive when you need it to be. If you want it to be even more responsive, you can bang it across into sport mode and then it really picks up. All the entertainment and everything, as I've already mentioned, is brilliant, it's more flush, it's, 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 it's lovely to be honest. The new display in front of me is very clear, you get a good view of your speed and so on, your fuel, your revs, all that sort of stuff. The interior layout, as I already mentioned, very familiar. It's got, as I say, it's, it's, it's incredibly easy to drive. I mean, why wouldn't it be? I think it hold, holds the road very well. The power is put through the front wheels only. This is the 1.5 litre three cylinder petrol engine. And you know what? It's pokey enough for a car like this. You don't really need any more than that. The ride is very good. It's soaking up the really terrible roads that we've got here in the UK with an awful lot of ease. It's easy to see out of. I mean, what more, what more can I tell you? It's, it's just a very capable, lovely car to drive. So there we go, a brief and quick overview of some of the new features of the new Mini Countryman and how it drives. Now, if you'd like any more information, do please contact the guys at Rybrook Mini using the links in the description of this video. And I will catch you next time.